This is Aya from Eon Software. I'm going to introduce a super easy way to import content from Plant Factory into other 3D applications. Okay, so we finished making our beautiful plant in Plant Factory. We checked the animation. It's working well. And now we're ready to export. So we go to Export Options, Autodesk FBX Export, and OK. So now that we exported our plant from Plant Factory, we want to import it into 3ds Max properly. So you want to go to Max Script, Run Script, and find PlantFactoryImporter.ms. So we open that up, and right when we open it, on the right-hand side, you see TPF Importers. And then we have, you know, Bump, Specular, and Translucency, things you could pretty much leave at one, but if you want to, you can try to adjust it. Um, and then under that, we have import FBX for mental ray, import for V-ray, and import for basic. Um, we're going to do mental ray, so we just click on that. And then we select our plant, and our plant should import into 3ds Max with all its textures connected and it should be pretty much ready to go for a render. So now that you have your tree in Max you want to create a nice lighting setup. So the first thing you want to do is go to views, viewport background, environment background to create a nice blue gradient. The next thing you want to do is go to render setup and make sure that everything is set to mental ray. Now we're going to create a physical sun and sky. So you want to go to create systems, daylight systems, and drag out the compass. I'm going to make an evening setup. It's really important that you go to the daylight parameters and set the sunlight to mental ray sun and the skylight to mental ray sky. Once that is done, all you really want to do is make sure that the exposure is set how you want it to be set. So check for the mental ray photographic exposure. Make sure your values are set. And then all you really need to do is set up your camera. Now that I have just one object, I'm just going to use a target camera and you can animate it as well. Um, for this one I'm just going to have a still shot. And then all you have to do is make sure that your render setup is connected to the right camera and then you just hit render. And then you get this beautiful tree. And here we are. Thank you for watching.